We're off on a day out on the enduro bikes with a couple of friends. It's put a lot of rain down this week, so there's not much motocross tracks open. Been asked if we want to come out and ride with a couple of lads, so they're going to take us around. So we dropped down into this river. I've been down this in the dry once, and it was a completely different story today. layer of that green slimy stuff on the rock so just trying to keep the bike in a straight line was a big task you can see that front end just sliding about you can see the rocks there look just real green and slimy but we're out, thank god for that. Open it up a bit down this little path. Yeah, we're out with Jack Spencer, Chris Windle, Chris Hughes, also known as Pingu. And uh, my dad's come out for a little spin on Leone's 125, so should be a good day, really looking forward to it. They're going to show us a few routes that we haven't been on before and a couple of little hard enduro sections so no doubt you'll see a few crashes along the way. So we get into this little section and I find a little double double into a little hill. Oh. <laughs> Don't get the drive there and... Uh, Get a little bit stuck. See, I need to get used to sort of manoeuvring the bike more when I crash and get stuck on hills, because obviously with motocross you're just not used to that. So just pivoting it round and things, but I guess the only way to practice is to keep getting stuck. And I am good at getting stuck, so there's going to be plenty of that practice today. Following Jack Spencer now and go across this little kind of rockery section, pretty cool. Nothing major. This kind of stuff's what I need practice on, you know, just not not used to riding over rocks and uneven terrain. Used to nice ruts and sandy berms. But that's why we're practicing. Cool little section here just over the moors with a couple of rocks in. Just gotta stay stood up with this game, keep your balance. As soon as you sit down, that's it, it's game over, your legs come off, you're all off balance. That's why trials riders are so good at the uh, enduro, the hard enduro stuff, because they just stood up all the time. Find a nice little gully here for me. good practice for me, this, this is my kind of level. It's quite tricky and slippy, but I can just keep it moving, nothing too major along the way. Managed to get to the top without having to take my feet off the pegs, so that was a plus. But yeah, it's good, I'm learning all the time with this enduro, it's, it's new to me, so it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Another little rocky sort of gully here. And then we pop out of the top and find a little sort of road gap jump over there. Look, you can see Spencer just eyeing it up. So if there's a jump, I've got to have a go on it. I can't, I can't not do it. 
<laughs> so yeah, a little bit sketchy that, but we made it just about. Then we come into this little hidden sort of valley bit here. Nice little single track around the outside. A couple of little hill climbs for us to have a go at. Obviously Jack Spencer and Chris Windle, they've done Erzberg and all things like that, so they're hitting them big horrible massive hills, but I'm not ready for that stuff yet, so these are fine for me. Drop back down here and we see my dad stuck on the hill. Oh. at that horrible moment where you, you're going backwards and <laughs> all you want to do is get off the bike but you can't. <laughs> this is uh, Chris Windle just coming up a bit of a monster hill as you can see. These boys are something else. If I went down there I'd be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we just met up with um, Pingu now. Start the ride and give him a nice little early shower. <laughs> He's going to get me back for that one, I know he is. That's for uh, calling me shit at Leedell. <laughs> So yeah, we're just coming along a bit of more than now and then we get to this hill. So we've got a couple of little hill climbs now. This is where the 300 is so good, you know, it's got so much bottom end grunt. Here we go, another one. that look. Obviously the GoPro doesn't do these hills justice, they are pretty steep. And then we get to this one here and we're following Pingu and he loses traction there but we're pretty committed so roosting me and I just spin out there and have to just get off and push. So I, th I think I'll just throw it up this little bank here. And uh, yeah, I need a 10 foot leg. <laughs> hey! Oh, you're knacking me run up there. <laughs> so yeah, I end up making a real mess of that one. One of them moments where your leg just needs to be another three foot longer. <laughs> okay. I'm knackered. <laughs> So, enough of the hill climbs now, we'll get some nice little flowing trails going. So we're on top of the uh, moors now and this is literally the description of bog hopping. Now I know where the name comes from. Just trying to keep that front wheel high through these bogs. Last thing you want to do is drop that front end in and go over handlebars. Oh, that's a soft one. Just checking my dad's not uh, sunk his bike back there. So we come down this trail here and I do a little wrong turn. Didn't realise there's a bit of a gap there. And just spin it round. So now we're on to some real nice sort of flowing bits. 
But we're just following Jack Spencer and he, he turns off here to the left. You just gotta be careful when you're following Jack because he's that good. He makes hard stuff look easy so you can just drop down a big hill and you can follow him and have, uh, have a flipping heart attack. So I'm always a bit wary when I'm following Jack. Keep a bit of distance so you can look what he goes down. You see we come onto this road and he, he drops into another one of them slippy slimy uh, riverbeds to the right here but after going down that first one I think I'll give that a miss. And then Pingu takes us on this sort of single track trail and this is just awesome to ride. You can just third gear, fourth gear, nice and smooth, just flowing. Feel little hops and jumps, a couple of puddles to wheelie. Mega fun. This is why I got an enduro bike. I mean, I can go out for three or four hours. You can get wet, wash it off, you're done. You go motocross, you've got a 20 minute session. Then I'm sat freezing at the band for an hour, then back out again, freezing. So on wet winter days like this, I can just come out, go on a few of these uh, trails with the lads, and yeah, just have fun really, and lots of bike time. This were a cool section down this rock gully. This is the sort of stuff I need practice on. Just, just letting that front just be loose and go with it. So we get to another hill climb and you can see uh, Jack there just going at it first, making it look really easy like it's a beginner route. But I get all off balance at the bottom here but stay committed. Go on. No. Whoa. <laughs> Nearly got flattened by my bike there, that's one of their most <laughs> moments. Nothing snapped, bike's still in one piece, we're good to go. Carry on. If you don't crash, you're not trying. That's what I always got told. So we've got another hill now, you can see there's a bog at the bottom of it, and then gotta try and get up the hill. But I think we're more across, I think I'm just revving it too much in the bogs instead of just you know letting it get get traction. You can see I just light it up and just get no momentum at all. <laughs> but we'll get there, we'll get there. So we drop down now into the bottom and we've got a bit of a river crossing to do, a little stream river crossing thing. Too bad. Just following my dad here. Just be careful not to drop down into that stream. It is very deep with all the rain we've had this week. Last thing we want to do is get uh, wet through down there. So we drop down this little gully. Gotta go through a bog and over this wall. Not too bad, but just gotta be careful. Come down the side of this uh, dry stone wall here, and there's a, a real tricky off cambered section. So, just gotta really take our time across this bit. Because, as you can see, if you get it wrong, you're gonna end up down that bank. And very wet. We managed to creep across there alright. No accidents there. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky, isn't it? And then we get to this uh, bit of a hill here, and I see Jack Spencer just jump up past Pingu, who's stuck. So I think, you know what? I'm going to have a go. I can just jump where Spencer's gone up that side. Oh! Oh! Not that easy. 
get stuck in this big deep rut. Now this is the tiring part of Enduro, when you get stuck pushing and shoving your way out of stuff, this is what really gets your heart rate going. Come on Ryan, get them muscles out. So we get out of that bit and we carry on up this little rock gully now. Oh, we lose our balance and we're stuck again. And whilst we're stuck here, you can see Jack Spencer just comes riding past making it look easy. One day, one day. So we finally get out and make our way up to the top. I think that's the last sort of tricky climb for today. The rest of it's nice and smooth going, some nice uh, flowing sections. The odd little hill climb, but nothing major. <laughs> oh. But yeah, overall, just a mega day out. These boys obviously know the way around, like back of the hand, but it's all new to me, so really enjoying this kind of riding. Like I say, if you've watched one of my last videos from Leedell, I really struggled in that sort of going, and this is very similar. It's not too far away from Leedell, so it's very similar ground. So this is the sort of practice I'm, I'm going to need to be doing the next few months. Props to uh, these top boys on this hard enduro stuff because some of the stuff that Spencer and uh, Window were going up is just, you wouldn't do it on a trials bike, you know what I mean, it's, it's serious. But yeah, if you're liking the videos, give us a like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos on my channel. See you soon.